Hi, I'm Margaret Costello, an interior designer based in New York City. Welcome to my apartment in Greenwich Village. What attracted me to this apartment was the amazing eastern light, but I knew it would be a complete gut renovation. I wanted a gut renovation because for the first time in a long time, I get to make all the decisions and do exactly what I want to do. Let me show you around. When I first saw this apartment, it was clear it had not been updated in almost 40 years. The kitchen was a small square kitchen, and now it's a full-size kitchen. The cabinetry was custom made, but it was very important for the color of the cabinets to be similar to the color of the floor to keep an openness to the space. The countertops are a concrete gray that pay homage to the colors of the New York City streets. I love mixing vintage and modern, which is something I do throughout the apartment. One of my favorite pieces is this mirror that was purchased at an antique store in Florida. Now the kitchen is bright and open, the perfect introduction to the rest of my home. This living room was actually the bedroom. Since this is a relatively small space, I wanted to use a minimal amount of furniture, but still create a great sense of comfort. So for this room, I wanted a sofa that just had one cushion because you can seat more people on a sofa with one cushion. But I like the curvature of these barrel chairs that I've had forever. I've been collecting photography for many years, but this was my first opportunity to create a gallery wall. I love how the photographs play off of each other. It creates an amazing focal point for the whole apartment. Books are an important part for the design of any of my personal spaces. There's some books on this shelf that I've had since I was in college. There's pieces from my travels from Tibet, Morocco, and all over the world. Another example of how I love to mix vintage and modern is in the area on the other side of the living room. I have a table that was designed by a young architect in Brooklyn mixed with vintage Balmain chairs. This lamp I made from these cages that I bought at a flea market in France. They were used to protect the grapes in the late 1800s. Overall, I wanted this to be a stylish, comfortable space for my friends and family. My bedroom used to be the living room, but by increasing the size of the kitchen, it allowed me to add these three large closets. I even turned one of them into a mini home office. The other highlights of this room are the nightstands, which are by a Swedish designer, and using the floating night tables gave me more room to stack books underneath. For the windows, I used custom draperies in a soothing linen fabric. They incorporate the neutrals you see throughout the apartment. In relatively small spaces, I like the bedrooms to be very minimal. And in my own bedroom, it's no different. My home is filled with things that I love because I was a client. And I always make sure that my client is happy because in the end, that is what a home should do above all, make you happy. See you at the next project. If you can't get enough of these fabulous homes and designs, then you gotta like and subscribe because we could all use a little more fabulous in our lives, right?